somebody is coming in to finally match your energy. And I feel like you're hardly going to be able to believe it. Like, it might seem like a dream come true, an offer that's too good to be true. Like, maybe the way you guys are vibing just feels like, how many timelines did we crunch? You might even think that this person is is faking it or just saying these words, but I think that they see what they got. This is like, I can see you and I'm appreciating you and what you bring to the table. And I think they're trying to craft the perfect offer for you. But this looks like somebody who's like envisioning your guys's dream life together, your connection together. Here's that two of cups. They feel that comfortable energy. You and this person definitely feel comfortable. Puppy, sit down, please. My puppy's trying to get comfortable right now. Rolling around in the blankets, okay? But this seems like somebody who's not back and forth about what they want. So while this person is viewing you as their manifestation, like the thing that they asked for, they still have their walls up a little bit, okay? They're definitely trying to take things slow. Because in their mind too, it's like, if you're my forever person, what's the rush? Like, if we're going to be together for years, why do I need to rush this? Why do I need to push this? Why do I need to, you know, jump into this so fast? But this person is absolutely feeling the vibe like you're feeling the vibe. There's lots of, like, sexual energy here for sure. I think that's helping the connection. I don't think it's hurting the connection. So I don't know if you and them have been intimate yet or not. But I could tell you they think about it a lot. They think about, I think they think about things they haven't thought about before. That's a lot of thinking. It's a lot of thinking. Oh, eight of swords. That is a lot of thinking. Two, two, two. So this person might spend a lot of time up in their head visualizing and creating that life that they want. Knight of Wands is somebody who is an action-oriented person. But this person doesn't take action until they know for sure. They're like, I need to be solid in what I know to be true before I just, you know, sign the freaking contract. Before I just, you know, go all in. Especially because this person, and this is a good thing, this person has options. Not like they're keeping their options open, but they know, you know, since they can see what you bring to the table, like they also know what they bring to the table. You know, this is going to be, and it's a healthy way to be a more balanced dynamic, like energetically 50-50. It seems like you guys get each other. Like I'm just seeing two people eye to eye. Not like your freaking height is eye to eye. You better relax. But we are envisioning the same future. The lovers and the chariot. Sorry, I'm using my nudie cards. We're envisioning the same future. We're seeing the same direction. We both want to go in the same direction. Like, as you guys are talking and, like, unfolding and unpacking this connection, you're going to find out that you have a lot of things in common. Like, a lot of past situations in common, which help you guys connect on that level. Like, that deep understanding where not everybody can connect. Um, but then you also are like, there's that star again, like, that's what I want to do. Or like, that sounds amazing. Or like, I'm trying to do it that way too. You know? So that's a good energy too. And you know, my three of pentacles is a card of happy, healthy relationships. Not no codependency bullshit. Like, I can't be happy unless you're happy. And I can't do anything without you. Like, it's nice to, you know, want to do stuff together. But I think that you've already been in a situation where you've lost yourself. And where you feel like you were not appreciated. And you feel like you were not appreciated because you were appreciating the other person in the past more than you were appreciating yourself. And it threw off the energy dynamic to where you put the past person on a pedestal because you're like, I'll do anything to make it work. Like maybe you have kids with this person 
Queen of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. Uh, or maybe you just had this perfect vision of the future painted. Like, this is how my life is going to go. You know, maybe it was very much like, you know, graduate high school, marry my high school sweetheart, have kids, have a family. And then, boom, the tower was like, I don't forget think so. Because they're like, how boring would that story be? So know that everything happens for a reason. Like the ending happened for a reason. And if it's okay if you can't fully see the perspective on why yet, because you will. And trust me, part of what's going to help you realize that everything happens for a reason is when this new person comes in, if you haven't met already. Um, and as the connection develops. Like you'll see as this develops, it may develop like like something you've never experienced before. It, it kind of one of those vibes of like, dang, like I thought I was in love before, but it wasn't. It wasn't like this kind of love. This could be like a deeper caliper of love, like a deeper, could be like a very spiritual love. Like what is it? Pies? Physical? Intellectual? What's the E stand for? Emotional? Durr! And spiritual? It could hit all of them. Oh, that would be great. Three of Swords in reverse is the best place for it to be. This is healing. So, like, you and this person may be able to help each other heal those, like, last remaining open wounds and triggers. But that's going to be a good thing. So, you can trigger each other, but it looks like you're going to handle it. Oh, yeah. The page to the night, we're going to handle our triggers in a mature way. Because, again, it's like, when both people aren't dating to date it's like one person is dating to date and the other person is like well whatever happens happens you only yolo once it doesn't work it's like it takes two people to carry the couch up the stairs and it's like you're carrying one end of the couch while the other person was just looking at the other end of the couch and they're hearing you they're like yeah i can hear you you're telling me to pick up the couch. I'm doing it. But they're not picking up the couch, are they? They're just staring at the couch. So it may surprise you when the new person comes in or as this relationship develops, they're going to like voluntarily help you carry the couch. They're going to come to you and be like, are you ready to carry this couch upstairs? You're going to be like, already? Are you sure? Like, are you ready for this? And they're going to be like, what are you talking about? Like, my intention was to come in and move this freaking couch. You know, obviously, I'm getting carried away with the couch, but do you get it? Both of you want to carry the couch. Like, you have the same the same goal. The same common goal. We want the same outcome, and that's to build this healthy, happy relationship that we're both investing in. 